Okay, in this video, just I want to explain what are the possible interview questions and their answers, particularly on the lathe machines. So, what are the different types of lathe machines? Now, just uh, let me take pen. So, what are the different types of lathe machines? So, these are the, the different types of lathe machines. That is a speed lathe machine, engine lathe machine, bench lathe machine, tool room lathe machine, capstan and turret lathe machine, special purpose lathe machine, automatic lathe machine, CNC lathe machines. So what are the different parts of lathe machine? The different parts of the lathe machine are main parts, bed, head stock, tail stock, carriage, cross light, compound rest, tool post, chuck, feed and lead screw apron. What is a lathe machine used for? Lathe machine is used to perform various machining operations on work pieces such as turning, facing, drilling and threading, knurling etc. It can shape cylindrical, conical or even non-circular work pieces with high precision. What is the purpose of the tailstock in a lathe machine? A tailstock is a device used to support the free end of a workpiece while it is being machined and also it is used to make the drilling operations on the lathe machines. What is the purpose of the headstock in a lathe machine? The headstock holds the main spindle which rotates at various speeds to accommodate different workpiece materials and cutting requirements. It also provides a means to attach chucks or collets for securely holding the workpiece and rotate the workpiece. What are the common operations performed on a lathe machine? There are several operations performed on the lathe machines. A few of uh, are here uh, mentioned. Turning, rotating the workpiece against a cutting tool to remove material and create cylindrical shapes. Facing operation, creating the flat surface at the end of the workpiece perpendicular to the axis of the workpiece. The drilling, so ma making holes in the workpiece using a rotating cutting tool. Boring. So enlarge or refining an existing hole, threading, cutting threads on the workpiece to create screws or thread surfaces. So what are the common operations performed under the lathe machine? This is taper turning, the gradually reducing or increasing the diameter of the workpiece, knurling operation. Creating a textured pattern on the surface of the workpiece for improved gripping purpose. So, parting, cutting the workpiece to separate it into the smaller parts. So, what safety precautions should be followed while operating a lathe machine? Safety is a crucial when operating a lathe machine. The precautions include wearing the appropriate uh, the personal protective equipment, the PPE, safety glasses, ear protection and proper clothing, securing the workpiece, ensuring it's properly clamped and won't fly out during machining, inspecting tools, checking for uh, damage and proper mounting, and avoiding the loose clothing and jewelry, so preventing them from getting uh, caught in moving parts, and using the correct cutting speeds and feeds prevents overheating and tool breakages, keeping hands away from rotating parts, especially the chuck and spindle, turning of the machine when making adjustments, avoiding accidental activation, following proper startup and uh, shutdown procedures that ensuring the machine is set up correctly. Next question, what is the significance of feed rate in lathe machining? The feed rate in lathe machining refers to the rate at which the cutting tool advances along the work during an operation. It plays a crucial role in determining the quality of the machine surface and the efficiency of the process. A proper feed rate ensures balance between achieving a smooth finish and avoiding excessive tool wear. Too high a feed rate can lead to poor surface finish while too low a rate can result in extended machining times. How is the selection of cutting tools determined in lathe machining? 
the selection of cutting tools for lathe machining depends on factors like the material being machined the type of operation and the desired surface finish harder materials required harder and more wear resistant tool materials the tool geometry including the tool angle and shape also matters in achieving the desired outcome for example turning facing threading and grooving all require different tool geometries what is a charter in lathe machining and how can it be minimized charter in lathe machining refers to the undesirable vibrations that occur during the machining process leading to poor surface finish tool wear and potential damage to the workpiece or machine it's often caught by poor rigidity incorrect tool geometry excessive tool wear or incorrect cutting parameters to minimize charter steps like using sharp cutting tools optimize cutting speeds and feeds using the proper tool overhang and ensuring the workpiece is securely clamped are essential explain the concept of backlash in a lathe machine and its impact on machining accuracy backlash refers to the clearance or play between matting components such as gears or lead screws in a lathe machine's drive system it can result in lost motion or inaccuracy during the machining for example when changing the direction of motion the machine must first overcome the backlash before the tool starts moving in the desired direction this can lead to dimensional errors in the workpiece minimizing backlash is a crucial for maintaining machining accuracy and producing precise parts what is the purpose of the tailstock in a lathe machine and what are its key components the tailstock in a lathe machine provides support to the other end of the workpiece opposite the headstock it helps to maintain the alignment of the workpiece and can be used for drilling boring or holding long work pieces the key components of tailstock include the body quill which can be extended or retracted hand wheel for moving the quill and locking mechanism to secure the quill in place how is tool wear managed in lathe machining and why is it important tool wear is managed by monitoring the condition of the cutting tool during machining it's important to ensure the cutting tool remains sharp for optimal performance and surface finish continuous tool wear can lead to increased cutting forces for surface finish and reduce dimensional accuracy techniques to manage tool wear include using appropriate cutting speeds and feeds selecting suitable tool materials and employing proper coolant or lubrication question 14 explain the difference between roughing and finishing cuts in lathe machining so roughing and finishing are two stages of the machining process roughing cut during roughing larger amount of material are removed from the workpiece quickly to achieve the appropriate shape this is done using higher cutting depth and faster feed rates the goal is to remove excess material efficiently reducing the machining time finishing cut Finishing comes after roughing and involves making precise cuts with smaller depths to achieve the final dimensions and desired surface finish. This stage requires slower feed rates and careful attention to detail to achieve the accurate results. How can you achieve different types of threads on a lathe machine? Different types of threads can be achieved using the specific lathe operations. Single point threading This is the most common method used to make that uh, threading operations. A cutting tool with appropriate thread pitch is fed into that rotating workpiece creating the thread profile. Thread chasing used for existing threads are to match external threads. A threading tool follows the existing threads profile to create a matting thread. Tapping A tapping tool is used to create internal threads by cutting the threads directly into a free drilled hole. What safety measures should be taken when changing tools on a lathe machine? Changing tools on a lathe machine involves potential hazards follow these safety measures. Power off. Ensure the machine is turned off before tool changes. Cool down. Allow tools to cool if they have been running for a while to prevent burns. 
secure tools make sure the new tool is securely mounted in the tool post or tool holder nozzles and chips clear away chips and debris to prevent inferences double check confirm the tools orientation position and clearance before restarting safety gear wear appropriate pro uh, protective gear such as gloves and safety glasses etc what is the significance of the tool rake angle in lathe machine and how does it affect the cutting process the tool rake angle refers to the angle between the cutting edge of the tool and a line perpendicular to the workpiece surface it plays a crucial role in controlling the chip formation and improving the cutting process positive rake angles help reduce cutting forces and improve chip evacuation resulting in lower power consumption longer tool life and improved the surface finish negative rake angles can provide increased tool strength and stability for uh, tougher materials what is the difference between conventional turning and climb turning in lathe machining conventional turning and climb turning refers to the direction of the tools movement in relation to the workpiece rotation conventional turning in conventional turning the cutting tool moves against the direction of the workpiece rotation this is generally safer and produces smaller forces but it can lead to a less favorable surface finish climb turning in climb turning the cutting tool moves in the same direction as the workpiece rotation this can result in improved surface finish and reduce the tool wear but might generate larger cutting forces what is the purpose of using a chuck in lathe machining and what are the common types of chucks A chuck is a device used to hold and secure the workpiece during the lathe machining. It ensures that workpiece rotates accurately and securely while various operations are performed. Common types of chucks include three-jaw chucks, four-jaw chucks, collet chucks, and magnetic chucks. Three-jaw chucks are versatile and commonly used for round workpieces. while four jaw chucks allow greater flexibility for irregular shaped work pieces collet chucks are suitable for small diameter work pieces and magnetic chucks are used for holding ferromagnetic materials what is the purpose of using coolant or cutting fluid in lathe machining coolant or cutting fluid is used in lathe machining to dissipate heat generated during the cutting process it serves several purposes including heat reduction coolant reduces the heat generated by friction between the cutting tool and the workpiece preventing premature tool wear and maintaining the dimensional accuracy chip removal coolant helps in flushing away chips from the cutting zone preventing them from interfering with the machining process surface finish proper cooling can improve the surface finish of the workpiece by reducing built up edge and minimizing the work hardening effects tool life the cooling action extends the life of cutting tools by reducing the thermal stress and preventing excessive temperatures that can cause the tool failure how can you ensure proper alignment between workpiece and lathe machine's spindle answer achieving proper alignment is crucial for accurate machining follow these steps truing the chuck ensure the chuck jaws are properly adjusted to hold the workpiece securely and concentrically centering the tail stock align the tail stock center with the workpiece center by using the dial indicator using the center for smaller workpieces use a live or dead center to ensure accuracy alignment use a digital indicator to check for run out or eccentricity in the workpiece So perform light test cuts to verify that the workpiece runs true to the spindle. Can you explain the process of facing on a lathe machine and its applications? Facing is a lathe operation where cutting tool is used to create a flat surface at the end of the workpiece. It ensures that end is square and smooth. Facing is commonly used to prepare the ends of workpieces for subsequent machining operations. Create a clean matting surfaces or achieve specific dimensions. It is an essential step in achieving accurate and properly finished parts. What is the purpose of the lead screw in a lathe machine and how does it contribute to threading operations? The lead screw in a lathe machine is a 
mechanism used to control the longitudinal movement of the carriage. It plays a crucial role in threading operations by providing the precise and controlled movement required to create threads on the workpiece. The lead screw is engaged with the carriage and translates the rotational motion of the spindle into linear movement, allowing for accurate thread pitch and depth control. What is the purpose of the cross slide and compound rest on a lathe machine and how are they used? The cross slide and compound rest are essential components of the lathe machine. Cross slide. The cross slide is a part of the carriage that moves perpendicular to the workpiece axis. It holds the cutting tool and controls the depth of cut during machining. This movement allows for the creation of features like grooves and shoulders. Compound rest. The compound rest is also part of the carriage and can be swilled at an angle to the workpiece axis. It is used to cutting taper angles and complex shapes by adjusting the compound rest angle while the cross slide maintains the desired depth of cut. What is power feed in a lathe machine and what advantages does it offer over manual feed? Power feed is a feature in lathe machines that allows the carriage to move automatically along the bed at a constant rate. It replaces the need for manual turning of the hand wheel for longitudinal movement. Power feed offers advantages like consistency. Power feed ensures a uniform rate of movement, resulting in consistent machining results. Reduced operator fitting. Operators does not uh, need to manually turn uh, the hand wheel for extended periods. Accurate feeds. Power feed allows for precise control of feed rates, improving accuracy in machining. Productivity. It speeds up machining process by eliminating the need for constant manual adjustments. I hope this is the, the possible questions on uh, the lathe machines.